Jesteśmy właśnie w Centrum Informacyjnym w Nowym Jorku. Przy telefonie Patrick Dan z Watershed Electric. Panie Dan, co wiemy w chwili obecnej? Na razie wiemy tylko tyle, że to nie był wypadek, żadna awaria sprzętu... Jeśli to nie był wypadek, to wszystko jasne. Zostaliśmy ofiarami napaści, tak samo jak Japończycy. Myślę, że oczywiste jest, kto za tym stoi. Mamy Otomo. Wygląda na to, że mamy wiele wspólnego, admirale. Z naszych dokładnych analiz wynika, że siły, które spowodowały poważne awarie kilku naszych elektrowni, działają bardzo podobnie do sił, które skutecznie wyniszczają nasz rynek. Jestem pewien, że Chińczycy i Koreańczycy są w to zamieszani. Nie wyciągajmy pochopnych wniosków. Mamy pod lupą człowieka o nazwisku Zerkezi. Miał dostęp do algorytmów broni informacyjnej opracowanych w Georgii. Był także głównym konsultantem DOI po awariach prądu w 2003. Wiem, mamy świadomość tych powiązań. Czy Zerkezi został odnaleziony? Nie, jeszcze go nie znaleźliśmy. Będziemy w kontakcie. Fisher. Fisher, we need to find out if Displace and Zerkezi are working together. But until we know, you want me to keep them quiet. Don't kill anyone or I'll abort the mission. The Pentagon has contracts with Displace all around the world. The President will have puppies if he finds out we're doing this. Yeah, what Marco said. I don't even know him. I'll tell him you said that. Huh, <laughs> go ahead. Boy, are you in trouble. Whatever. Hey, who, who killed the light? This isn't good. to request protection at that level from the National Guard. I agree. But let's face it, the National Guard is a massive, cumbersome organization. Sure, that's what we need, a presence. On the contrary, the people want protection, they need protection, but they don't want to see protection. It frightens them. Having the National Guard on every corner will keep the peace, but at what cost? They'll get over it, Julian. In the end, the thing they'll remember is that the National Guard is cheap. I'm dealing with taxpayers here. The last thing I need is another fiscal accountability. Good work, Sam. Now you'll be able to access the central server on the first floor. Come on. This wireless stuff makes life a lot easier. Yep. Welcome to the Wi-Fi era. Remember, you're saying that to a guy from the era of Hi-Fi. Hi-Fi? As in, like, high in fiber? <sighs> Don't put me in adult undergarments yet, kid.
Sam, each of Displace's different divisions seem to have their own server farm. I put a program on your offset that will build a little back door into their networks. You want me to upload that to each division server? I would appreciate it. Since you asked so nice. Good work, Sam. That's the first of their servers. If you can upload that to each of the other ones, I'll be able to snoop around as much as I please. I'll see what I can do. Let me just get these windows before we go. Aw, oh, man, I love that. We have to get some of those at City Hall. Email me and remind me. I'll set you up with a good deal. Whoa. That was weird. Yeah, I've heard of this. It's called an electrochromic window. A small electric charge can change the opacity of microscopic crystals embedded in the glass. Cool. I'm thinking that your OCP should be able to toggle the state of the windows. I'm uploading the specification to your OPSAT. Thanks, Will. So, what did you want to show me? In the lobby of the Empire State Building, there are four brass rondelles, Art Deco pieces. Each rondelle represents one of the four disciplines of skyscraper construction. What, like engineering, financing, real estate? Machines, concrete, decoration, elevators. Elevators like this one here. Huh. Okay, Julian, what's your point? My point is that every single day, five million New York executives ride elevators. Elevators that they can't do their jobs without. So... Well, you're worried about the cost, huh? You're worried about what the taxpayer will think. But it's a mistake to think that those two things are fundamentally tied together. Stairs are cheaper than elevators, Tom. Why don't we have stairs as the fourth discipline of skyscraper construction? No one is gonna take the stairs up 70 stories. And does anyone ever question how much an elevator costs? Of course not. Right. And I'll tell you why. Because the cost of an elevator isn't measured by what you get. It's measured by what you avoid. This place is expensive, Tom. I mean, there's no denying that. But it's not important how much it costs to hire us. What's important is how much it costs not to hire us. A bunch of good old boys from the Appalachians with M4s in every street corner, I mean, yeah, sure, it'll get the job done. But in the end, relying on the National Guard is like taking the stairs. If you want to keep those five million executives going to work every day, I suggest you take the elevator. Oh, well, you maybe got a point there. Outside the R&D lab. Point. Let's go talk to Mike. Sam. Upload that program to the last server and you'll make me the happiest girl in the world. You're easy to please. Access is a girl's best friend. It's a pretty cushy posting, that's for sure. But I heard the guy was really annoying. The guy isn't there anymore. He's out of town. What, so you're just watching his stuff? <laughs> yeah, emptying his liquor cabinet and playing video games. He's got the new Prince of Persia. Yeah? 
I heard it's awesome. Gonna be game of the year, man. Can't wait to play it. Thanks, Sam. That's the last one. I can't wait to sniff around and displace this laundry basket. Uh... What? Laundry. I totally forgot. Shunted the data we need off the server. Log in name M. Nedich. Mylon Nedich? That name is coming up an awful lot, but we still don't have anything on him. Probably a pseudonym. I'll see if I can find out who he really is. In any case, we need to get access to his computer. His office should be on the upper floor somewhere. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but... I see it. Power's coming back on. I see it, Grim. You got company. You might want to... I see it. Check the server and make sure nothing got fro- Heck, who's what? I just saw some down there! I heard he got drunk with some of the guys in Istanbul last month. 
wandered out of the bar looking for him. They found him the next morning, covered in blood. Sorry to bring you in here so late. Wacko at the penthouse uptown? Why, well, perhaps that's not to refer to our client as the Wacko, but yes, him. Or rather, his penthouse. Milo's no one. 22, 42. Milo. Milo Medic. Is he smiling? I always get them confused. Anyways, there are cases out there. There won't be a VIP, just the property. Okay. Sounds like a breeze. Well, it hasn't gone perfectly smooth so far. You'll get the full VIP rate, and you'll be on duty as though there is a package on site. Okay, got it. Good. You reported 1300 tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. Good grab, Fisher. Mylon Nedich's real name? Jesus. Milos Nowak. Milos Nowak? Who is he? The Barber of Bosnia. Suspected war criminal from the Bosnian conflict. Allegedly scalped some of his prisoners. Wanted in The Hague. Yeah. Bet you dollars the dinars that he doesn't make it to trial. That's okay. I think my money's safer on the Nikkei. This is the tamper. Isn't that basically the Alaska of Japan? Yeah. Looks no like Mylon Nedich has secretly relocated Zerkezi there. Interesting. Now we definitely need to talk to Shetland. We'll let State Department handle that mess. You're going to Hokkaido. We're sending a helicopter to evac you from the roof. <laughs> 